Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with some fake Grand Order North America. Today we're going to be talking about the Battle for New York, because guess what? The North American site is up. They've confirmed this is the next event. It starts on the 14th. Um, that's the event period. Of course, if it actually starts on the 14th, that's going to... Let's see how maintenance goes, because I think if I remember correctly, last year, um, or the year before that, Nero... Bride Nero lasted so long, it, the game was down for an entire day. It was a real thing. So anyway, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Battle for New York, kind of why so many people are excited for it, and kind of going over the banner. It's going to be very simple because this is the easiest thing you could ever think about. Um, and talk about, in general, Battle for New York. Um, I'm not going to be talking about specific strategies because I feel like I should save that for a future video to kind of help out, especially if you're a new player and you kind of want to help kind of need help grinding stuff out i can show you some pretty good units that you should focus on to help for helping you that is so anyway today's video just gonna be an overview for the events i'm not gonna get into the challenge quests because i think there's plenty of people who want to just be surprised by those so i'm not gonna spoil what they are um have fun with those on your own they're extremely hard though so that's gonna be today's video i hope you like it if you do you can leave a like comment about how you're feeling about battle for new york how prepared are you are you super prepared are you not um and subscribe to me if you want some more fate stuff uh so all right let's begin where do i begin so this is the north american site it's very pretty unfortunately there is no news uh so we're gonna have to switch over to over here where we're gonna be looking at the jp side of the event so one thing i'll just get off with saying right now ew that sounded weird sorry about that and yeah um so what is battle for new york well battle for new york is a lotto event there is technically three but really only two lotto style events in the entire throughout the entire year one is in christmas and one two of them are, are around christmas time and one during is now this is during what we call a festival a festival time you'll see some people call battle for new york gil fest because nero fest was the previous fest and when gil took over we just called it um gil fest as a shorthand because it's easier to say gil fest as opposed to battle for in new york um, i keep calling it for example battle for new york that is not in fact the title of the event it is called battle in new york um and a lot of events are a thing where you kind of grind a whole bunch for lotto tickets and then you use it on a lotto system which i'll kind of get into the lotto system a little bit later but that's the kind of event and this is a great event for newer players to help kind of catch up a little bit because the lotto is the only kind of event where you can grind qp exp and materials at the same time no other event in the entire game will let you do all three some of them might let you do two out of three of them very rarely do you get to do all three at the same time to a significant amount like you do in the lotto season um so let's first look at this uh first things first usually they like to do um like improvements to the game when they do one of these festivals the problem is is that we have this and we have this so the only thing that i could see them implementing are animation changes which are would be for ishtar gilgamesh and uh caesar because i don't think we have caesars yet i can't remember if caesars was added because they added so much in a batch and i can't remember for the life of me um i could see them doing gil maybe not ishtar just because i think ishtar is really only a figure in the second gil fest as opposed to the first one so i have to wait for that one actually i think she i think she might actually be near the end of original gil. whatever point is as i mentioned that's kind of the way they do it we'll have to wait for actual news to see what they add but for now we already have this in jp so ignore this part of the jp so this is how the event is kind of time framed is that there are three dates ignore the times so this is again the jp side of the game we start with preliminaries semifinals and finals and it's over these days what changes between them one the stage the stage stages kind of stay consistent the thing that changes is the enemies you fight and specifically the material that drops but the specifics of like this stage will always drop this item like this place that drops hot dogs will always drop hot dogs but usually this place that drops hot dogs in the preliminaries will also give you a fang but then in the uh semifinals they'll give you a steak instead so it's two completely different you see what i mean i'll show you a little bit later of course i'll talk a little bit more about that 
But yeah, that's kind of how the setup of Fest goes. So if there's a specific material you want to grind on a specific day, remember, because finals is the longest day and I feel like semifinals is the shortest day. So remember, it, at least in terms of how it feels, semifinal ends up feeling the shortest for me personally. Um, just remember that when you're grinding. So here are the event cards for it. The return match, there's always a guts uh, card that gives you 100% damage increase. Uh, this is one of them. When it's max on limit broken, you get 200%. Uh, critical damage, 15%. It's pretty good. Um, it especially helps if you're a new player to have that extra damage on your side. CKT, this is the thing that will get you for lotto drops. And so the only real purpose it has is being a thing for lotto drops. Uh, this is the Craft Essence EXP card. This is really only used for EXP, but let me tell you, real good art. Sheba's a fantastic lady. Mm-hmm. I can't use Sheba as uh, cover art, so you're going to have to just accept <laughs> that's the only way I'm going to do it there. So here are the command cards, uh, command codes that will be added as well. you got Lynchpin of Heaven, increases damage against weak to enema lich enemies by 20% on the Grave card. God Binding Chains increases damage against divine enemies by 15% of the engraved card. Lady of the Red Jewels Command Seal increases critical damage by 10% of the engraved card. Sure. Okay. Summoning Campaign. It has Gilgamesh, Queen of Sheba, and Julius Caesar. Along with these craft essences, Gilgamesh in New York, Shining Skyscrapers, and Showtime. The art on these three are fantastic in terms of actual use. There's not a lot of times where you want Buster Performance and NP Generation. But both of those are technically good, so it's kind of like a very specific type of unit would kind of need to use this uh, CE, but it doesn't matter, it's good. It's probably better in events where you have to fight um, challenging fights. Um, Shining Skyscraper, uh, this is another CE art I could never use, but damn, it's also very good. Very, very good. Um, drug gives you hot dogs. Which is funny. And the Caesar CE gives you fries. Who doesn't love that? Um, let's go to over to preliminaries. There's nothing I can tell you here. Queen of Sheba I think is good. But a lot of people probably won't like her. Because she's a single target caster. And who's also a support. And so there's not a lot of uses for the types of units like this. And especially now with an arts meta. That's technically not started in North America yet. All you got is Tamamo. Tamamo. Um, that's the only thing had that arts has carrying it at the moment and that's not enough so you're gonna have to wait for castoria but if you wait long enough she's gonna be extremely good julius caesar he's a three star if you wanted to use caesar you would be using him there's nothing i can say he's not great for grinding so for the most part i ignore him but there's definitely ways to use him but in general he's kind of one of those units that's extremely greedy so you have to kind of build around him i think uh if you can build around him, though pretty good gilgamesh is absolutely uh, one of the best archers in the entire game, especially at AoE. Uh, no one can deny that. I don't even like Gilgamesh, and I can't deny how good he is as a person. Like, as a person, I hate him. As a card, he's fucking fantastic. There's no denying it. Anyone who tries to deny it is living in some kind of weird fantasy world where Gilgamesh is not good, and it's a place that I don't want if they, for whatever reason, are like, whoa. Well, actually, there is one other archer, but he's kind of a weird kind of uh, he's kind of built more for challenge quests because he kills those challenge quests so hard. But anyway, if you're summoning for this banner, you're summoning for Gil. And I wish you good luck because you're going to need all your luck if you're going to get him. So here are the preliminaries. And the preliminaries, uh, it's street, club, gym, arena, garden. Garden gives you... Garden gives you... Uh, excuse me. The garden will give you uh, Lotto, the arena will give you Burger, the gym will give you Hot Dog, and the club will give you Fries. And on the street, it gives you all three at the same time. And in here, it usually goes one and two, yeah, see? So with Fries, it also comes Hot Dogs, with Hot Dogs also comes Burgers, and with Burgers also comes Fries. Um, and the materials that drop here are Snake Eyes, The Wheel, The Arabian Nights, The Scarab, The Page, the Dragon Tooth, Proof of Hero, and the Dragon Fang. The specific bosses are these right here. This is kind of the setup for it. This is something that 
is gonna be kind of well street is whatever the street is easy um, these other ones can be a little bit tricky especially this one notice how there are three then two two that's extremely annoying um, if your specific strategy is built around um, Scotty farming because if you have two enemies it's actually harder than when if you there's three uh, at least in my experience with it so remember that going in uh, this is the kind of stuff I like to see yeah I like to see that that's good that's the good stuff and semifinals uh, similar setup except for of course you got uh, mystic fluid you got shoe horse you got tear drops you got stakes this is the one I have to remember semi for semifinals this is where I'm gonna be grinding out my burgers this is where I'm going to have to be remembering because stakes are extremely rare and there's a lot of units that need a lot of them. So if I'm going to be grinding burgers, I want to be grinding burgers when there are stakes. So at least I can, in theory, get some stakes while I'm grinding burgers. And in the garden, you kind of got uh, the Yggdrasil seed and the wine. Um, I don't think I need either of one of those, so it's probably pretty easy for me to ignore in all honesty. Um, and you can see here, club too it's a little bit different for club though anyway here are the finals and in the club you can get some chains in the gym you can get some bones and a tail talent of chaos shout outs to gaming talent you can get the horn in the arena and you can get an alchemy baby or as it's called here homunculus baby that's the correct term and in the garden which is where i want to spend most of my lot of farming tickets uh, if I'm going to be grinding, when I'm grinding this ticket, I don't have a choice. This is the one I want to spend least on because I want to, I want to get the most steel as possible, to be honest. And there's Spirit Root. So, that's kind of the build up for this one. You know, pre remember, try to remember where, if you see a material that you need while you're also grinding for other ones, I would suggest kind of making it so like, you time it so you grind that one specifically and that way you can kind of ignore the first thing you should be doing um which as i think a lot of people will kind of suggest you do is to get the 200 and get the um because you have to get it from the shop so the event shop uh which you can see here you need 400 muscle burgers 200 here and 200 here 200 fries and 200 strong dog um to get these fully and you want to get them all and start lotto grinding as soon as possible you do not get your fifth drop it is possible you'll get your fifth drop while you're playing it i want to say last year i had over six drops by the end of it i grinded a lot so um now here comes the lotto part of the lotto grinding it the, the way the lotto box works is that um depending on how much of these you drop so you get to kind of like poke at her you poke at the boob right here you can do one one spin cost two tickets 10 spins cost 20 tickets and then you just kind of do that ad nauseum um see one try cost two tickets 10 tries cost 20 tickets so yeah um you can in theory you can kind of reset the lotto as soon as you get the grand prize but it's starting from number 11 you can no longer do that so you have to actually um uh starting from this one onward you have to get them all i think that's the way it goes you need to obtain the grand prize first after the 10th lotto reset can only happen after obtaining all the prizes yeah that's what i was trying to say but better um and inside the lotto themselves this is kind of the stuff you get so even if you got this in your first like two ticket roll your first 10 roll i would suggest actually waiting till you at least got the golden apple from there as well because you'll need the golden apple to kind of help you grind along through it but as you can see here you got snake eyes you got homunculus baby and you got proof of hero you got dust and then you get 25 in the inside every box you have these so once you hit number 11 and you start grinding all of it you'll have to get all of this you'll have to get every single one of this the one of this also there's gold bars and the gold bars you can spend on stuff right here which actually the stuff is all very good so i would actually i would personally i personally this is a thing that i do only not a lot of people do i get everything from the lotto box on all the steps um some people kind of switch around it kind of depends on your play style it's up to you but starting from 11 you're gonna have to get them all so we'll see how this goes um You'll see when you actually start grinding and how you feel about it. But yeah, that's kind of Battle in New York in a nutshell. Um, this event can take a lot out of you. 
because by the end of it all you're doing is kind of grinding non-stop and then the main thing that you need to remember as well which is a thing I'll suggest here is that once you probably get done with so it depends on the person some people just after the they get the last copy of this specific CE return match what they do is that they no longer pull on the lotto and what they do is they wait till the end of the lotto season and then they do all their pulls at once because once the event is over you can still uh, you can't lotto grind but you can definitely go to the lotto box and open all well open up all your lotto box and do all that stuff um, which will take a very long time depending on how crazy you grind it but again it's up to you if you're not crazy grinding it I would suggest open it up level up some of your dudes along the way have a good time of it and seriously if you want you're the best bang for your buck is this specific event I feel like there's not a lot of events I can think of that are as good for this one in terms of QP grinding, EXP grinding. Like, I was able to get most of my box fully um, awakened through this just because I got so much EXP from it. Um, so, for example, even if you open up all five of these lottos and you did it all 100%, that would give you at least 100 EXP right here, which isn't enough to fully awaken someone, but it's enough to at least make you go, ooh, I could have started awakening someone. Um, so I don't know. That's the uh, that's the uh, battle for New York. I'm very excited to start lotto grinding, and then once this event is done, I'm very much ready to take a huge ass break from Fates because, like I said, this takes it out of you. This takes 100% out of you. Pace yourself if you're gonna do the lotto grind. Um, I'll kind of do a video later on, kind of talking about some dude, especially if you're a new player, like kind of how to. How you should be approaching Gilfest and stuff like that. Um, I've definitely mentioned in my beginner guide some good starting off units, but I'll kind of go a little bit more into detail for this one. So that's the end of today's video, though. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember you can leave a like, uh, comment how you're feeling about the fest. Are you going to be pulling for Gil? It's up to you. Um, all that stuff. So until next time, everyone, have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.